Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Sorry for the echo. Um, just making sure everything's working all right. Um, I finally got music today. Yes, finally. I finally went through all of my music that I normally use in my videos, made a playlist that's kind of like not too crazy hype music for a stream. I'm not listening to it, but you guys are, so. Yeah. Um, Get this around a bit so I can see things better. How are you guys doing? It's another week. I love streaming with you guys. It's honestly been really nice. Hey, Split House. Awesome. Glad to hear the music is good. Um, if there's an, if there's a track that comes on that's like, whoa, that's way too obnoxious um, to like hear me talking over, let me know and I can take that out of the playlist. So, but I went through it all. I think it should be okay. Um, also, if, um, I'm going to be trying that chili tonight. Actually, I'm going to shoot him a message. I don't know if he's on the stream right now on Discord, but I'm going to try the chili that we were talking about last week tonight. We're going to see how it is. If any of you aren't in my Discord server, go do it. Um, we're always talking about cool stuff. And there's even a food chat now. Last week we decided that we need a food specific chat. So. All right. I'm sure he'll probably come and join at some point. Sorry. Um, so tonight's plan, I wasn't really sure what to do. I kind of have a bunch of little things I could do, but that I don't entirely feel like doing. Um, but one thing that I've really been putting off is my touring car body, because I need a new one really bad, because um, the old one is absolutely trashed. Hey, how's it going, Roy? Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, yeah, so I need a new touring car body painted, and I've got one. I've had this for probably almost a year now. Eh, maybe not quite that long, but um, I want to, so like my plan is I'm going to do a really fancy paint job, like not over the top fancy, but like I'm going to try and push my painting skills a little bit with this one. We'll see if it actually works or not, but um, that's kind of the plan is to try and try and go out of my comfort zone a bit because I've got the liquid mask stuff from Betty Design, and um, so the plan is to use that, do a really sweet paint job. I want to stick with actually. I'm probably I probably ought to grab out my. Uh, other one while I'm at it um, just for reference because I am going to stick with the cherry blossom theme like it's gonna be another pink cherry blossom body which well, I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about that but oh no who am I kidding I I like that idea I want to try and make it a little bit better this time or actually maybe, maybe what I'm trying to say is that this car needs a pink body that's what I'm trying to say here I'm not making a whole lot of sense also last week um, someone was saying there was like clicking in my audio do you guys hear any like clicking in my uh, vocal audio at all I think what was going on last week was um, my lapel mic was dying on me um, I think that was the issue. So hopefully that's not a problem anymore. 
Oof, man, this is in rough shape. Oh man, this poor body. This poor body. All the paint is just flaking off of it. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just listen in on the Yeah, I'm gonna listen in on the stream real quick just to make sure it does have a little bit. Okay. That's really annoying. And I'm not sure why. Um, hmm. I don't know what's doing it, I guess, then. Let's see if I can hear it. Like, I don't think that it's doing it. I think it's probably okay. Seems all right. Oh, now it's there. Man, I don't know what that is. That's a real bummer. Okay. Um, let me, actually, I think one thing I can do is, um, check, check, check. I think that should be, no, that's louder. There, I think that's the lowest setting for my lapel mic. And I think that might be what it is. That could be it. So I never run my lapel mic like any higher in volume than that. So that might be it. I guess it could be various different things, but anyway. Ooh, look at that pretty new body. out of here for the moment and so let's see it's got like a I need to kind of like draw on some of the features on this body because it's got a few like on the side, because like all I've got are side profiles for right now. I don't know if you can see that at all. There you go. I've just got side profiles for right now. Um, I might draw on the back of one of these and try to uh, do a top down also. I'm not sure though. So, okay, so it's kind of got a bit of like a loop around the, I am no artist by the way. So if you think you guys are getting nice art out of me tonight, you are severely mistaken. diagonal line up to the tail light and then it's kind of got like mm, let's see it's kind of hard to do because this isn't like the exact thing and also like I'm looking at it kind of funky as well. So I 
here we go. That looks a little better. Um, probably should have honestly just drawn this by hand, but oh well, that's okay. Instead of trying to like print one out, you know? that even a <laughs> how is that even a door panel like that makes no sense that wouldn't even open like if this was a real car that wouldn't even open there's like a line that comes down right here and like it goes and connects to the bottom like it's an actual like thing but like it doesn't do anything up here like what what is the what is the logic in that? I guess there's not a whole lot of logic when it comes to RC car bodies. Yeah, who am I kidding? There's not much logic at all. I know this might be a little bit boring for some people that I'm just kind of drawing, but like, what do you guys want to talk about? Like, I'm totally down to talk about literally anything tonight. Um, one thing actually that did, I don't know if it, like, I don't know if it officially like came out, came out this week or not, but like, um, Proline released a... Twin I-beam suspension kit, actually. That looks really friggin' cool. And I don't like. I don't think I would get it. Um, I know there's one person on my Discord server who's already gotten it, or like who's already pre-ordered it. And I can't wait to see what he does with it, actually, because he did a twin I-beam build at one point with like three printed beams. Um, and that was really cool, I remember when he did that. But yeah, now there's like an actual kit out for the SCX-10 II, I think, was it? Some people were complaining that like, um, it doesn't, like, why would Proline make a, why would Proline make a kit? for a, um, like, an old vehicle, like, why wouldn't they make it for the SCX-10 III? And I guess that's a valid point, um, 
but like the SCX-10 III is kind of more of like a, isn't the SCX-10 III more of a, like designed to be a comp rig, sort of, sort of, kind of? Like, you can't really go complaining about that when it's a whole different, like, genre, you know? Because, like, the SCX-10 II, I, I don't think is, like, considered obsolete anymore. Hey, Curtis, how's it going? How are you doing? Um, but yeah, like for what it is, the kit looks super cool and I am extremely partial to Ford Rangers, which have twin I-beam suspension, the old ones. The new ones are just big boo. I, I don't like the new Rangers. Not, not my jam. But, it'll be cool to see what he'll do with it. In some way, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit no annoyed that they came out with it. Because, like... And this is gonna sound very childish, but like... I... Like, I've always wanted to do a twin I-beam like a, a twin traction beam build, which is different. Like it's the same thing as twin I-beam, but there's just a, a differential on one of the I-beams that makes the twin I-beam design four wheel drive basically, which I know is not what they released, but I've always wanted to do that. And I've always wanted to like completely build it from scratch. So like the fact that they came out with something that's kind of close to that is mildly annoying. Cause like, Oh, you know, like, I'll be the first one, but, like, still, I've never seen anyone do a twin traction beam design before. And I know people have done twin, twin I-beam, like, it's, it's not a new thing, but, like, I've, I've never seen twin traction beam on an RC vehicle before. That would be... That would be pretty wild. My dad's out there cleaning the gutters because... Last time it rained, I did it in the middle of the night. I don't think he was very fond of that. Hey, you know, whatever. But yeah, very cool kit. Lots of people are super hyped up about that. Mm. That line kind of comes across a little higher, doesn't it? Hey Joseph, I am, I'm doing pretty good today, pretty low key day, um, came back from my boyfriend's this morning, worked on a video, worked on actually next week's video today, which is going to be a cool one because we're super close to 3,000 subscribers, so I actually got that video done in advance, so a little special video, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, yeah, took a nap, and now I'm streaming, like, super low-key day, just kind of just kind of chilling out today, taking it easy. I'm gonna paint it pink. Um, well, it's gonna be like a combination of like pink and pinks and reds, um, I think. I, I literally woke up in the middle of the night one night and I was like, yes, that's the paint scheme. Like I had it all in my head, did not even bother to like make notes about it or anything so I kind of forgot about um, like the paint scheme that I'm gonna do but I kind of remember sort of um. 
them. I do still have my one-to-one -one Jeep. Um, that is still in progress. And I have, might, maybe, might be working on another video for it, maybe, just, uh, I mean, it's, it's a very low chance that I am, but like, it's possible, it could, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, it sounds like a good time, always good to spend time with your family. Um, okay, now, let's see, so I don't know if I'm going to do smoked windows, like you can kind of see through them or if I'm going to do just like black for the windows. I'm not sure. I think I'm probably gonna do them smoke. Like, I think that looks cool and I totally fucked up the smoke when I did this body because I did it right after I sprayed metallic and so it got all like glittery, which was just not, not ideal at all. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do smoke again. So I think black trim around the windows would be good. I was maybe if I got a, a black thin Sharpie for that, that would be, that might be a good, uh, way to do that instead of a colored pencil. I love the rain too. The rain is seriously my favorite weather because it just makes editing so much more appealing because it's wet, it's cold, you don't wanna go outside and you can sit under a blanket and be productive at the same time. So that's part of, uh, part of why I like the rain. So let's see, we're gonna do, I'm like, oh, let's not have this one under it, it's gonna, bleed through. Do some like thick black around the windows. Um, yeah, because it's got like, like there are, um, like, what do you call it? Like, trim areas, like, grooved into the body on it, so that'll make it fairly easy to cut and make look decent. Um, the only annoying thing is that there's like lettering stamped into the front window. That's actually kind of annoying. I, I mean, you guys aren't gonna be able to see that, but I guess I should also think about what the, like, the like decal kit is. Um, I am starting to get ready for Christmas. I'm gonna probably start tapering off my content a little bit because I need to work on making Christmas presents for people. That always takes a long time. Let's see, so it looks like we've got, geez, um, looks like we've got a, um, got a banner, looks like for the back window. Okay. So I'll, I'll probably still paint that black. And then got a, I don't know if I'm gonna do the banner on the front window. I guess, yeah, I probably will. Cause like, look at this one. I've got 
the M410 banner on the back and then the Biddy Design b banner on the front one. So I think I'll stick with that. But this time I'm gonna do black trim around the windows. I think that's gonna make it look pretty clean. Black or maybe like a really, really dark red, like a dark burgundy. Eh, I don't know if that'd look good or not. Probably not. Hey Osborne, welcome. Awesome, awesome. I know there's a lot of people here that are into the uh, 124th scale crawlers and you know we're pretty much all into the 110 scale stuff. What kind of rigs do you have right now? Love to hear about them. The thick banner across the front. Thin banner on the back. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do this whole funky business here, black. Okay, here's another question actually. What color should the B pillar be? Because I could do it black. Basically, um, this guy. Uh, the, that guy right there. Um, Cause the trim around the windows is gonna be black. So do you think the B pillar should be pink like the rest of it or you know, whatever color? Or should it be black also, do you think? I'm not sure. I think it should be colored, because that's how real cars are. And I think even though, so like this one, even though it has the trim line all the way around is like the top of the window. Which that's nice having the dark background, you guys can actually kind of see it. It's got the trim line all the way across the top of the window. But I think what I might do is bring the B pillar up through it um, so that it looks a little more realistic so that I've got black trim outlining each individual window and then have the B pillar the color. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know. All I know for now is that this is going to, that's going to be black. Well, this funky business is going to be black. And then the lower window trim, black. That's black, that's gonna... Oh, very sick. That sounds awesome. I haven't gotten into the SCX24s yet, but there's a ton of parts out there for them, and I've seen some pretty crazy stuff, so. That sounds awesome. Oh, cool. What scale are the diecast ones you're building? I know some people are like really into the die cast stuff. I, and I don't know much about it, honestly. I don't know much. Let's 
Are those supposed to be tail lights? Yeah, they are. Okay, so I'm just gonna strip this out because those are gonna be stickered. And then Let's see, what are those supposed to be? It's got these like big triangle pieces on the sticker sheet here. Huh? I'm confused. Actually, I probably ought to Google a picture of this body painted. To see what it actually looks like. So it's got these like little like air scoop pockets in the front hood. You can kind of see them right there up here. I don't know if those are decaled. I have seen a lot of people doing the 3D printed rigs. That's definitely neat. sure where these are supposed to go to be honest with you I'm gonna look at a picture online because I don't have a blinking clue what kind of, it's a hyper HR body HR body. let's see let's see let's see what they say what the tell to be honest with you oh okay these little ones these little funky guys are they go in those front like little hood scoop pocket things The guy who does all the painting for Betty Design is a crazy good, uh, like, body artist. I guess you'd call a tattoo person a body artist too, but like, paints the bodies. Like, his work is incredible. Seriously incredible. If you follow him on Instagram, it's like, uh, it's like if you just search up Betty, De Betty Design on Instagram, um, it comes up and his work is insane like so intricate, so detailed, and it just looks amazing. So I had, For the B pillar, I'm going to just follow the body lines because, like, thinking about it, I think that it would look it would look weird if I did the paint through those like 
body seams. I think that would look kind of weird. And like I would notice it and that would bug me. So I think I'm just going to do it all the way around. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll have to check them out. All right, let's see. What? Mm. I'm gonna go like a hot pink or a light pink. I think I want, so I'm also doing cherry blossoms on this one too. Like it's basically just gonna be a better version of that body when I'm done with it. So, ah, okay, this is a, maybe a good idea. Let's see. So if I have the bumper bit be like hot pink, it's like I saw a picture online, um, the car was teal and like the front of the, like, like front, the front bumper area where the grill is and the lights were like kind of a gray and a white, but then like the very lower edge, you know, like where you'd have like the foam bumper on a touring car was the, like the main teal color of the body. And that looks pretty cool. I also saw when it was black, but I feel like, I don't know if the black would look good with so much pink, cause like I'm not really going for black and pink. I don't know, but I'm gonna try this, see how this works. So B pillar, light pink, roof, and all this is gonna be the light pink. Like, I also want to try and do some fades this time around on this body. That's very ambitious <laughs> for someone who hates painting, but I'm going to try and do some fades. Yeah, it's that like, it's fun to a certain extent for me. And like, I'm gonna try and do it a little differently this time. Cause in the past, like what I've done is I've watered down the paint a lot on my air with my airbrush. And that just made it so I, would, I had to do so many coats and like run just like agree. I also have like the, the bottle kind with that hangs below. So like I've got to run egregiously high pressure and egregiously thin paint. So it took forever to get any decent coverage and also like it would run a lot because it was watery. But that's just user error, honestly. I got one of the little like cups that will like plug into the bottom of the bottle style or of the like siphon um, feed airbrushes. So hopefully that helps a bit. I don't know. I definitely need to do some more messing around with my airbrush and like try and get it so that I can just do like two or three coats for a color because yeah, doing, you know, 20 coats is just ridiculous. Like I've had to do on some of my other bodies. That's just 
too much. Definitely too much. Okay, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go with the tint, I think. I think that's going to work out well. So I need to... Okay, I'm going to have this little scoop dealy on the side be black. I think. Actually wait. No. God, this is tricky. Okay, whatever. I'll make it black for now, but I think it's actually gonna be pink and I'm gonna try and like do the little inside of the scoop black instead. I see it now. I see it now. That. Just gonna do the another. This kind of continues along, and just a bit of that action. Yeah, sort of, kind of, a little bit. That'll work for me. I'm just gonna. Hmm. Another question, do I paint the door lines black, like real thin, actually maybe even like a paint marker kind of thing. Should I do that or should I just, is that too like, is that going too far do you think? What, what are your thoughts on that? I could, uh, no, I'm not going to because the door lines are extremely unrealistic on this. So at that point, I think it would just start to look ridiculous. Yeah, okay, forget that, Never mind. <laughs> this is all going to be the hot pink. I 
And then the back bit also needs to be the same, right? I think it would look weird if it wasn't. Okay, that's what I got so far. And let me turn this light off so you can actually see what I'm doing here. That's what I got so far. Let me focus it. There you go. That's what I'm doing so far. So I got the black trim around the windows in the front and back and on the sides, and then the pink bumper and the pink like running board in hot pink. And then like the main rest of the color is gonna be light pink, I think. And then these little like fin scoop things on the side, they're gonna be black. Um, and then the the lights, the headlights and taillights are gonna be stickers. Yeah, I think that'll work. What do you guys think? Does it look good so far? Here, I'll let you guys look at it again. What are your ideas? You guys have any like good thoughts or suggestions for it? Oh, it is. It's got the like funky, like back cut out there, like underneath here. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Thanks. It's definitely, it definitely takes some practice. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's easy at all. Okay, so I need inside of these little Scooby Doo's black. That's what those things are for, is it? Yeah, okay, I see now. I see what's going on. Jeez, there's like so many like body lines on here. That's all I'm gonna say to that. that. It takes time, takes practice, definitely takes doing it yourself a good few times to get good at it or to like get a handle on what's going on. This is 
got, oh man, there's like, there's so many, like in the front on the, on the bonnet portion, it's like, there's so many little like body lines. So like I could do some really cool stuff with, but the trick is like making it look good with the rest of it, you know? Hmm. I think what I'll have to do is do some like good drawings of this body in particular, scan them and like put them in the computer or something and color them that way. That would probably be a good way of doing it. To be honest with you, because then I could really play around with the coloring and stuff more easily than just doing it by hand. But for now this works. So like, there is a line well, here, and there's a line uh, here. And there's like some chevrons up top, which are kind of funky. One, two, three. That is true. That is a good point. Oh, thanks, RBK. I'm glad you are enjoying it. It seems like people are quite a bit. Um, it's still got a, it's got a little more work to be done on it. I broke the servo horn and one of the front universal shafts or like one of the universal joints in the front the pin came like sliding out of it as I was just doing like a brief, just make sure everything works test run. Um, and it's it slid out and the motors are so strong, it freaking bent the pin in half, like over the U-joint. Like if this is the, like the, the C-shaped part, you know, like this, there's a pin going through this way. It bent it over this way on top of the ear of the U-joint. I'm gonna try and contact them and see if I can get that like warrantied because I haven't even put four hours on those axles. And that seems like a serious quality issue to me. But anyway. Um, let's see, so yeah, this is gonna be light pink all the way around. all the way around. <laughs> this too. orange like would also look good on the body let me see I got some like scribbles on the side it's like it's kind of a warm color also so I'm trying to stick with the like warm color theme here Ooh, actually yeah that could look pretty cool a darker orange. Um, yeah, orange could look cool. Maybe. Maybe. 
Let's see. Look good next to this. See, the orange looks better next to the mid, like the, the darker pink. The red, orange, and dark pink look really good together. Here's an idea. Ooh, okay, okay. Outline these. If I outline those in black, make them stand out. Do two of them up in the hot pink. That, and then do a fade. into the regular pink. Maybe. That might look up. That might look cool. Sorry if I'm not being very talkative this evening, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the music at least a little bit. Because I finally, finally actually got around to that for once. Um, so what was I just thinking on that one?
Okay. Here's another update for you guys. Let me just shut this light off. So. I've got these little, like, this little vent-like thing right there. And I'm gonna... Oh, oops. Sorry. I'm gonna do, like, a, the like black ridge on it and then, like, the dark pink to kind of follow with the black and dark pink chevrons up top here. I think that'll look cool. And then that's kind of, like, the fade from light into dark on those chevrons above the wheel well. I think that could look cool. Not entirely sure. But um not particularly. I just need to paint the body. Because I need a new body for my drone car because this one is in extremely bad shape. Even though I like this one a lot. But no, it's not going to be for a specific event or anything like that. Okay. So... some more color to this because I feel like I'm thinking a little too hard about where I'm trying to put colors and such. I was thinking about also actually putting the vinyl decals on the body panels for my MOA tonight also get that done. There's also some strips here in the back. Just need to make those dark pink for now. Like they're just a, just in front of the wing. Try making this dark pink. See what that looks like. Do the rest of the border around that window. And this is all going to be the light pink. I don't know what this line is doing here. This is, <laughs> I don't know what that line was supposed to be, to be quite honest with you. Or that one. I know that this is the line to there. That's an idea.
That could be interesting, I guess. looks kind of cool now that I did that hmm okay so yeah, there's stickers to the back bumper that's a good question um, oh maybe that's what that's for Yeah, you know what? I'll bet you it is. Okay. So. Ooh, okay, now that's, that's an idea. I literally just forgot what I was going to try and do. Um, I had an idea for the... Oh, okay. Yeah, this, actually, yeah, okay, that is what I want to do. Not for the back. That evens that out. Okay, I like it. So that'll be kind of like a... Something like that, okay. There. What about that? That looks pretty sweet. I kind of tied in the dark pink on like the lower um, magenta there in the back with that little bit on the rear bumper. And then this like diagonal stripe is gonna kind of like be fat down here and then like kind of taper back to a point a little bit and then fade into this section. I think that'll be pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, it's work because like smoke on the windows just for now. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do less cherry blossoms on it this time. I'm still gonna do some, but I'm not gonna go quite, well, I guess I didn't go too crazy on them with that body. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do some. And I'm gonna try not to, I'm definitely not gonna do as many. Cause I, I've still got the uh, like image file that I used to cut the masks for it. So what I can do probably is like, what I can do is like cut them out and then trace them on the body. So like what I'm gonna do is like the, the way the liquid mask stuff works is you spray the inside with it and then you draw, well, you draw your design on the outside first and then you spray the liquid mask on the inside, you cut um, all your lines. I don't know if you do that before you start painting or after, you should probably look that up, but um, Yeah, like you, you cut all your lines and then you peel it up for each color that you want to do and then you spray it. So what's going to be tricky is doing the fades because like, cause you, I, I have to like wrap my mind around like what needs, like what color needs to go down first. Like if I'm fading from like light pink to dark pink and like where I need to make the cut line and what, like what needs to happen in order for that to look right, for it to look good. Um, that, that's definitely going to be a tricky one, but hopefully I can at least figure it out. This is definitely going to be tricky. the wing I guess the wing can just be the same color and it's gonna be stickered up too so it'll be broken up a little bit so like I don't want to I want to make sure that it's not just you know everything same color so it's not just like a big blob of color I want it to be a little like a bit visually interesting work. This is gonna be really, really terribly drawn. Cherry blossom. I never said I was an artist, all right? I never said it, I never said it. You know what? You know what? That looks freaking good. <laughs> that looks fantastic. That kind of looks like the leaf for, uh, like a maple leaf for Canada, but look at that. That looks pretty slick, I think. 
I think that's gonna look really good. I'm gonna place the cherry blossoms in such a way that they're kind of like, um, not symmetrical. Like the way I did on this body, they're kind of like scattered. As you can see, like there's one here, there's one up here, like two back in the back, you know, like they're like kind of scattered around a little bit. And like, I think that gives a really cool aesthetic to it. So yeah. Okay. I'm, d I'm definitely gonna do something with the wing because I think having it the same color, like either the, like either do something with the wing so it's not just a solid light pink, or do something with like the posts. I'm not sure. Not quite sure. But. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I don't know if this is actually gonna be what I decide to do on it. Like I'm definitely gonna probably throw some more ideas around and I'm not painting three, or not painting. I'm not gonna color three more of these tonight because I don't want to. So I think what I'm going to do is go grab some of that chili that we talked about in last stream because my dad made some as I mentioned. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. So I think I'm gonna go do that. And then when I get back, I think I'm going to grab the MOA and probably stick the vinyl art on the panels. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I will be back in a little bit. Well, like, a couple minutes, that's it, don't worry.
All right, I am back. I got chili, I got crackers, and I'm hoping it's gonna be good. It's probably really, really hot right now though. It smells good, I'll tell you that much. So the magic ingredient in this, suppose, is uh, chocolate and instant coffee. <laughs> Supposedly it's good. That's hot. Okay. Well, in the meantime, while that's cooling down, I'm going to pull the steering horn, servo horn, off of this thing because it broke, like I mentioned. Because I need to buy a new one. I don't think I have. I think I have a high tech horn for it or that would fit. But um, I want to get like a heavy duty one. Do I have one? I don't think I have one. If I did, I would know about it, most likely. Most likely. <laughs> but, um,. There. Got pliers. This will work. These will work. Well, at least now that we did the one, um, like, coloring. I can kind of like that at least get some ideas out of my head and like at least kind of gets me like halfway to what I'm trying to like accomplish with it you know so that's good maybe I'll color the other one tonight like before I go to bed or something just put some music on and chill <laughs> thank you I mean it completely just snapped the servo horn off, which I've never seen before. Um, and then, I guess I could pull apart the front end because I need to take a picture of it and, um, I think I should probably leave it together just for the picture, just so it's like, yeah, it happened while it was in here, not while I was like trying to take it apart and I broke it. Like, you know, I think that's probably a good idea to leave that together. Thank you. I'm glad that uh, you guys enjoyed the series so much. Yeah, it's still hot. That is really good. Yeah, that's good. Definitely good. Actually, this needs to go back with this. Screen needs to go back on the linkage there. I'll have to order me some sort of super duper heavy duty servo horn. Oh, actually. Oh no, those are grab box, never mind. I was gonna say, I've got two new servos for my um, Shafty. And those, I think, came with servo horns. So I can use the servo horns off of the Savox ones, but Savox are different spline counts than high tech. Why? Like, why couldn't you guys just make them all the freaking same? Huh? Huh? I don't get it. But. Okay. Time to hopefully try not to fuck up these panels. 
but I have plenty of them, so at least plenty of the decal for them, so hopefully, hopefully, I don't, wait, like, I don't mess them up too bad. Um, I want the clean side. <laughs> Thanks. I want to eat this. It's just too freaking hot. Hmm. It's still too hot. Man. Okay. I've yet to really show you guys the body panels, and I'm not really going to show you now. At least I'm not going to do it in too great of detail. You guys will get plenty of detail in the unveiling. But, um, I need a nice sharp exacto blade. And a ruler. A metal ruler would probably be better, to be honest with you. Oh, I can use that piece of brass, actually. That would probably work. So what else do I have? Um, I can try my plastic ruler. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Which way is it? Is it this way? Nope, yes. Mm. Am I doing this wrong? Nope, it's the right way. There we go. Okie dokie. That blade probably would have been okay, but I use that to scrape off all the paint off the rings, so it's been scraped against aluminum for half an hour. Probably not very sharp. No, nope, that's backwards. Come on. Do this correctly. Don't cut yourself. There we go. Okay. So, I need... maybe I could just use the actually this is like kind of gripping to the vinyl really well if I could just line it up on here it's probably a terrible idea to be honest with you but maybe it's not maybe it's not okay here we go Probably I should probably be cutting this oversized, huh? Because it's gonna go. Um. Eh. Um, okay, too late now. Let's try this. See how this goes. Oh, it's crooked. Well, okay, looks like we ruined that one. <laughs> of course. Of course. Damn it. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. That one's ruined. Great. Good job. At least I have more. Let's not do that. Do it that way. Let's actually be a smart human being for once. Okay. 
No, this is, um, it's vinyl. It's like vinyl stickers. Oh, let's not drop the knife on ourselves. Oh my God. Guys, I'm, I'm doing so well tonight. Doing so well, okay. Um, yeah, it's like vinyl decal stuff. I suppose in the light, it kind of looks like carbon fiber. I think that's what you mean. Or you're asking like, how do you cut carbon fiber? white marks on these so that I could have like a reference for cutting them out. I'm not sure that that was the smartest idea ever. I'm not sure that it really was. But it oversized, try and stick it on, and then... Go from there. junk now. Good job. Trash. Bummer. Okay. Oh, oh, do I cut carbon fiber? Um, no, I do not. I've never tried. There we go. Now it's cool enough to eat. That's pretty good. It's definitely more like soupy than um, the chili my dad usually makes. His is like a lot more chunky because like it's got more, um, it's got more like actual like stuff in it. This is a little more liquidy, but it is good. It's very good. Okay, rubbing alcohol. Towel. Something that's not ridiculously dirty, hopefully. I do, yes, I do cut aluminum. Like, yeah, I do. Are you asking like, will I cut aluminum for you? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what you're getting after. Like, do you want advice on cutting aluminum or? Yeah, like what are you, what are you getting at exactly? Okay. 
Okay, that looks pretty clean. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so hard. Oh, this is gonna be really hard. Um, Oh, actually, okay, here's an idea. It might work. Let's see, if I flip this this way, hang on. Let's actually make sure that I put this on the right direction. That would be really bad. Okay, I wanna be able to read it like this. So I want to have it, I'm gonna stick it off the edge. I'm gonna do it like this. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up, guys. This is probably not gonna go well. Come on. Oh, yeah, they were brass. Upside down. Okay, great. And am I doing this right? How am I messing this up? How am I messing this up? So I'm going to read it that way. It's the way I want to read it. Okay. So I'm going to do it this way. I think I can register it better this way. I want it past the holes. It's going to be a little annoying, but... Do it or did I totally botch it? Let's see. Um. It's a little off center, but not bad. Not bad at all. Great. Okay worried about that. Now did I mess it up? How did I mess it up? Tell me guys, did I mess it up? No, it doesn't look like it. Awesome. Okay. Now I need to Trim the excess and oh, maybe cut the little white bit out of that corner and just like use a sharpie and make it black or something. Okay, I guess now I can just set this on here. And cut it out. finger and find out. The answer is, I don't know. 
it's like I'm experimenting, I'm experimenting with how tacky this stuff is. I just stuck the vinyl to my thumb, putting it on my hot bowl of chili to like get the adhesive hot, and we're gonna see how sticky this stuff is. I also totally wore the wrong shirt for a chili taste test. Thank you, you as well. Have a good one. Ooh, that actually works really good. Oh, this stuff cuts super easy. That's awesome. about how well this stuff's actually gonna like hold up over time. I'm thinking probably not very well. But we're just gonna have to see. Kind of trying to do like a little chamfer on the inner edge of this so that it like isn't hanging off the edge of the plexiglass. So like if I rub my thumb against the edge, it's not gonna like peel up, you know? I'm kind of trying to do a bit of that action, but let's see how well that actually works out. This stuff is just sticky. It's getting everywhere. Everywhere. I guess I should kind of expect that for adhesive vinyl. everywhere. Absolutely flipping everywhere. And it's not terribly sticky, but like it is fairly sticky, I guess. We'll see. I'm, I don't know. We'll just kind of have to see how long it lasts.
looks okay, I guess. Yeah, not bad. Okay, there's one. Just gotta do the, uh... Hey, DJ. Um, I did some, um coloring. I broke out my kindergarten skills and did some coloring for my touring car body to try and like get an idea for some paint schemes. Um, I'm taste testing a new chili recipe and I'm doing the vinyl application for my MOA panels. That is what is up. What's up with you? Now the trick is what is the best way to cut holes in this stuff? Let's find something with a hole in it. Now where did what did I do with that? like a triangle piece that I had put the MOA battery on. I don't know what I did with that, to be honest with you. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Kid doesn't want to sleep, kid doesn't want to sleep. shop last week. I don't know what I did with it then. I've not seen it since. Well, if that's the case, I guess I can just stick it to this and see how that goes. So I need to figure out what the best way to cut holes in this, like, vinyl stuff is. So I don't want to, like, completely tear it up. I gotta kind of, like, do a little experiment here. So... First thing I want to try is... My body reamer. That might work well, or it may just make an absolute mess of it. That has made an absolute mess of it. Has it? Mm -hmm. Not bad, but yeah, kind of just made a mess of it. Okay. Let's try. using the exacto knife to try and like cut it out. Basically just trying to find the lesser of the evils with this stuff. I don't want to make it look too ugly, you know? But... That's not a bad idea actually, using a leather punch. The thing is, is I'm sticking it onto Lexan or plexiglass, and so I don't 
think I'd really be able to get a leather punch to like cleanly cut through that without like pulling the rest of the vinyl down into the hole. Like if I can just do it cleanly, my exacto. That's the ticket. Just really careful with the exacto. Probably shouldn't be trying to cut flipping aluminum with this one either. It's definitely not helping my cause at all. No, see, that's already dulled that bummer. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's just let's just go right for it and try it. Can only make it worse than it is, right? Make it worse than it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's true. It's really small though. It's like an eighth of an inch. So. Don't think that would work very well. So far, this is doing okay. Be really careful. Take my time. There we go. Was clean. Okay. All right. This is this is the way to go. This is the way to go. I might also put a little bit of like brush a little bit of super glue around the edges of the decal just to like stick it onto the uh, plexiglass a little bit better. I might do that because I really don't want it peeling up in any way. Like as soon as any dirt gets under it, that's the end of it. But that may also just be a really bad idea. You never really know. That one looks pretty good. Concentration is so real right now. Okay. 
That looks pretty good. Trim this one back a little bit. All right. There we go. That one is done. I could try doing a little sea egg glue idea. I think that's a really bad idea though. Like, in, in theory it's good. In practice, I think it's only going to be a disaster. I think part of the trick too is just gonna be letting this like, stick for a little while before I go and start like, running it in the dirt and stuff. So. Yeah, okay, great. One down. One down, one to go. Where's, there it is. Is this over, yeah, okay, good, it is. All of these little sticky punks out of here. Close to that one. Oh well. That's okay. Yeah, no kidding. This guy cleaned off. Who's that? that marker? Yeah, it's marker. There's like lint free rags for this kind of stuff. That looks pretty good. Set that there for now. Let's make sure I put this on the right way also. I'm gonna want it this way, so I'm gonna want it. I wanna be able to read it like this. Let go, let go. At eight, thank you. So I wanna be able to read it this way, right? Yep. Oh no, no, no. Sticking my fingers to it. Gosh dang it.
hope so. I hope that's it. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That looks good. Nice. All right. Got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, don't say that. Don't even say that, but it would. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're terrible. <laughs> yeah, when when you're super focused on something, like if somebody comes up behind you and is like, hey, it's like, ah, <laughs> totally freaks you out. Freaks me out. I, I've got this one coworker that does that sometimes. Ooh, that gets on my nerves. Like he comes up and he's like, ah, you know, right, right behind you. Oh my god, I hate that so much. It pisses me off. He hasn't done it in a while, thankfully. Or some wood. Knock on some wood. Yeah, shit's annoying. And let's see. I should have changed, should have made the name of tonight's stream bodywork. Because that's literally what we're doing tonight. We're talking about body painting, doing the panels for the MOA. looks great I know seriously I'm gonna be so mad if he does that this week that's why I knocked on wood I'm a very firm believer in knock on wood supposedly if you guys don't know that actually came from like not that I'm very religious or anything but like knock on wood I think came from like knocking on like the wood of the cross or something like that. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be good luck exactly, but like supposedly that's where that phrase came from. Like knocking on the cross wood, you know? Kind of weird. But, like the, the sayings we have these days, or like the sayings that we have in our society that came from just random freaking places are so weird.
Right, and is all clean. Okay. Oh, hey, Carl. Good evening. Good to see you. I'm giving that chili recipe we were talking about last week a try. It's pretty good. Oh, well. Okay. I guess. I guess that uh, works out then. Well, if they resided in trees, I guess, you know, woods and trees, and I do like making things out of wood a lot. Like, I think wood is very, like, mm, at least I find a very, like, Not really like, not spiritual meaning, but like, um, like wood can say a lot and it can like convey a lot of like emotion the way that it's like, like the way that you put something together and the, the way the grain is, the type of wood, all that stuff, like. Like wood, wood, wood has a soul. Yeah, as uh, George Nakashima would say, or the soul of a tree. Cause he's got a book called that, and I read it. Very good book. Carl, I am doing pretty good tonight. Been a really low-key, quiet stream tonight. Because I've basically just been working on the MOA panels, and we also did some um, touring car body design brainstorming earlier, which show you momentarily. Let's get that whole thing out. But yeah, it's been a pretty chill Sunday for me overall. Did some editing earlier. Start working on next week's video. Um, yeah, here's the touring car, um, sketch coloring idea that I had. You can also go back earlier in the stream, I did like some more like close-ups of it. Um, yeah, supposedly. Hey, Jeff. Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a minute. I'm doing pretty well. Hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic this evening. Good to see some familiar faces around, or familiar usernames, I guess. So it was fairly quiet earlier. Why is this being difficult? I'm glad you like it. Glad you're doing well, also. That's probably not going to be the final design. 
but more just to kind of like get some ideas out on paper and get some colors down and just kind of start playing with it and like see what kind of ideas come to mind. What have you guys got planned for the rest of the night? Anything? Or just chilling out until work tomorrow? Ooh, that one was the best one yet. Nice. Very similar, yes. Um, the yeah it's going to be similar not quite the same but the flowers are going to be i'm also going to do flowers on this one and the flowers are going to be darker um also j j just like the original it's for my touring car because i got a new body what a year ish ago now and i still haven't painted it because my current body is absolutely destroyed I think this antenna tube hole is going to give me issues in the future because I drilled it. I drilled it a little bit too small, so I had to try and drill it out, and then the back side kind of like cracked out because it's plexiglass. I should have drilled it the right size to begin with, but I did not. Either I should have drilled it the right size to begin with or left it the size it was because the antenna tube did fit through it. I was like, no, let's make it a little bit bigger. Oh well, it's okay. Cool. Just having a chill evening then. That's probably what I'm gonna do after this, honestly. That that's a good idea. To like do a autism theme drop. I don't know. I don't know where you could go looking for that, because like honestly I'm not sure. Um Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Like, if anything, you could do, you could do something like I'm doing, like do the front side adhesive vinyl so that like the art side is sticky and then you stick that to the inside of your body to do like, you know, the artwork that you want. Like, I know it's kind of a lot of work, but like if you just had like, like if you just wanted to put like a couple, um, like puzzle pieces like scattered around the body like you could just stick those in it and then just like spray paint over it i don't know if that would actually work or even look good probably wouldn't to be honest but i don't know that's an idea it's an idea all righty Oh, you know what I have not been doing is posting snippets of my series videos to Instagram. I've totally forgotten about that. Totally forgotten. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, you could also do a cricket cutter. That would work as well. I've never used one, so I can't tell you anything about it, except that it takes vinyl, and supposedly they're not hard to use. But, you know, can't say anything like that for sure, for me at least.
I will say, this like clear vinyl stuff, or not clear vinyl, but like the, the vinyl like window stickers that I'm using for this, you hold them up to the light, like a really bright light, they look incredible. Like the colors are so vibrant if you hold them up to the light. Like if I did some sort of a, like if I wanted to, have you guys seen those like those glowing signs? Uh, they're like a box, you know, a, like it, it's just like a box with like a logo on it, but then it like, it lights up. It's not bright necessarily, but like the colors kind of light up on it. I'm not doing a very good job of describing it, but like if I wanted to make something like that, I would totally use like this vinyl product to do that. Cause like all the colors, like the black is super black and all the other colors come through really, really bright. Yeah, really, really, really cool. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how expensive they are. I'm not exactly sure. Get all this um, finger grease off of this. I will say, like, if you're just looking at them, like with light hitting the front side, the black is not very black. I will say that it's not terribly um, it's not very like deep black you know it's a little bit more grayish like a really 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 dark gray but in the light or like outside in the sun like I don't think you're gonna notice like cause that looks yeah great that is taken care of. Um, let's see. Get all my stuff cleaned up here a little bit. Let's see what time is it? It's almost seven. It's probably going to be about it. Not a terribly um, thrilling stream tonight, but hopefully you guys at least enjoyed some background music for once. Um, yeah, I finally went through all my, uh, all the music that I have licensing, like, stuff to, or all the music that I have licenses to, and made a playlist for, um, the streams. So now we have stream music again. Yay! That can actually be monetized and not just get demonetized after I upload it all the time, which is which was really, really annoying. Like it would like stay monetized for like a week or something. And then they'd be like, nope, sorry. There's one song out of the 50 that you played. So you can't, you know, have your whole video monetized. It's like, okay, whatever guys, whatever. YouTube is definitely annoying sometimes, but overall it's a pretty good platform. Speaking of platform, we are really close to 3,000 subscribers. I don't know what we are currently at. Uh, let me look. Let's see. Um. Oh my gosh, guys. 2,998. Do you guys think we can get this tonight? If any of you guys are watching and are not subscribed, freaking subscribe. We are two subs away from 3,000. Two subs. That's literally it. I was going to upload my special 3,000 video next week, which I think is still going to be the plan. Um...
yeah, I'm still gonna do my 3,000 sub special video next weekend, and I'm also gonna do something special on stream next weekend. But uh, yeah, if any of you are watching and are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Do it, do it, we're two away. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. So close. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it there tonight or not. But next week, next Sunday, we're celebrating big time. So if you guys are around, definitely come check out the stream. We're gonna celebrate. Um, I don't know what I'm actually gonna do on stream next weekend. Hopefully something a little more interesting than what I did this weekend. But I was just feeling kind of low-key anyways. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do like a little, uh, little cupcake, blow out the candle thing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. No pun intended. I'm guessing you all are probably subscribed, but if you're not, Go do it. Go and do it. All right. This can go there for right now. This can end up in the drawer. And actually, let me see if I can get a, I don't actually know if that's live feed or not. Uh, subscribers. All right, yeah, there we go. My live subscriber count, 2,998. So close. So, so close. Okay. Um, this should probably go elsewhere, but that can go up there for now. Hell yeah. All right, thanks, thanks for hanging out, uh, RBK. Appreciate your viewership. Have a good evening. And I hope to see you on stream next week. Okay, I'm gonna keep hang on to that because I paid for it and I hoard random crap. I'm good at that, unfortunately. All right, cool, cool. See you next week. Um, AliExpress, I have not, no. So I can't really say anything about that, to be honest. Big green cut in that. Oh, why did you have to fall? This speaker in this corner always freaking falls. Like, it's right on the edge of the shelf. There's hardly, like, barely enough like, wire to get to it. So annoying. Um, all right. I guess I do need to take a couple pictures of what happened to my MOA because I need to get it like, uh, see if they can warranty it for me. Cause I, like the uh, axle shaft, the pin on it, I was talking about it earlier. Like this is the U-joint on it. The pin that goes through it, like started sliding out and it got bent over in half because the motors are so freaking strong. It's just ridiculous. I do need to get some good pictures of that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to really do that right now. 
Eh, I'll do that some other time, I guess. I feel like there was something else I was going to do to this. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. Beats me. Well. I think that's going to about do it for me tonight, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Had a good stream. Very chill tonight. I'll, I'll think of something a little more interesting to do next week. Um, I do need to tear my Galanda apart. That's going to be a big project. And I also need to tear the rear end back out of the splash because I think I grenaded that again. I will probably do that next time, actually, yeah. Um, seeing that they've been slipping out, if I can get them warrantied, um, I'm definitely going to use the TIG welder and just tack the ends in place. That's definitely a great idea. Um, definitely going to do that. So, maybe tomorrow I'll get some good pictures of that and see what they can do for me. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we're gonna leave it there. 2,998, which I'm okay with because by next week we'll have 3,000. And I will uh, see you guys in the next one for those that are watching after the fact. Hope you have enjoyed hanging out with me. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram, hi 49 underscore RC. Join the Discord server. Follow me or support me on Patreon, become a member, all that stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.